look at this rain guys only a first class easier to be out in the day like today on a motorbike and you're looking at them thankfully I've got my new pilot roll forwards on the bike I've had them before they're great in the wet <laughs> let's see what they're like on standing water and expansion strips ah, nice. I put uh, the Pirelli Rosso trees, the new Pirelli Rosso trees on the Busa but I haven't, uh, I only put them on a few weeks ago and I haven't had a, a proper dry day where it was warm enough to, to, to give it some welly but uh, so far they seem pretty good actually, they seem very good, they're quite impressive uh, but I'll have to, I'll keep you updated about that when I get a better chance to, uh, to ride it properly on them Tell you what, thank heavens for Daytona boots I'm not endorsing them, I know they're expensive but geez they're worth every penny if you have to ride in anything like this and I have to do this on a on a regular basis oh, oh a lot of standing water, a lot of flooding, look at this could you imagine being stuck in a car, look at that yeah out on a motorbike in the rain and you say people say oh god you not get wet that must be terrible terrible that's fucking terrible <laughs> sitting in a queue of traffic for half your life go away out of that <laughs> oh I'd like to say thanks to my subscribers for sticking around I don't post much over the winter as you've probably seen um, the reason is there's not really a whole lot happening I don't really ride for pleasure during the winter but I do ride every day or I ride and I commute to work and I take the other two bikes out as well just to keep them running, keep the battery going and everything nice and looped and what have you but um, I don't do a whole lot other than commute to and from work and take the occasional spin so thanks for sticking around if I haven't uploaded a whole lot that's the reason why and uh, of course I will be uploading more there's a few interesting things coming up mind the, the mirrors on your man's BMW probably cost about 500 euro a piece <laughs> if I clipped one <laughs> not a hundred percent sure I'd stop or not ah no I probably would so yeah as I was saying um, yeah so there's a few things in the pipeline obviously coming up we've got the, the big tour of Spain I'm going to be riding a GS 1200 uh, liquid cool, the, the new-ish version, I know it's not the brand new for this year but it is the current model and I have that for five days around Spain so uh, that's going to be a bit of crack obviously I have the uh, the west of Ireland tour towards the end of the uh, the summer and uh, hopefully a few track days in between now that brings me to uh, the point of the CBR 1000 double R uh, the Fireblade, what to do with it? Well I actually was going to sell it because I bought it last year from a friend of mine for a really good price actually, thanks very much Giuseppe. Um, I bought it from a friend of mine uh, as a track bike. So I put fairly sticky tyres in it and the whole lot, kept the street legal uh, with the intention of doing a load of track days, which I did not do. Uh, the reason is the tyres aren't suitable for wet weather and any day that I was available to do a track day it absolutely pissed down rain so uh, I probably could have done one but there's not much joy in it on the wrong type of tyre so I thought no I won't bother so I had thought about selling it but I've thought now about keeping it but I need it to be a little more versatile so if I'm only going to get to do a couple of track days a year it needs to be able to do something else and that is to, uh, to be able to do a little bit of light touring and make it a bit more comfortable basically, that's all it needs. The bike is sublime, it's got really good brakes, superb handling, the fueling is perfect, there's so many good things about it. So all I want to do is to make it into a really fast sports tourer that I can easily convert back for a track day. So already I've bought foot peg lowering kits which I can take on and off, now we're really in a jiffy, in 10 minutes I can put back on the stock pegs 
for uh, for track days and what I want to do is put a, a touring screen on it which you could leave on it anyway it's not not going to be a problem for a track day uh, and clip on risers now that's the thing they're fairly expensive uh, I'd also probably have to change out the brake lines as well make them a bit longer and I might have to do some slight modification to the upper fairing slight modification which I don't mind because it's already scratched anyway so it's not like it's pristine uh, so that'll make the riding position more comfortable and it'll make it into a lovely very powerful great handling light and that's one of the main things if, if I wanted something light light sports tour that I can do some touring on so uh, and I can just by changing the uh, the bolts on the um, on the the clip-on risers I can lower it back down and have it ready for sport riding and for track days so it's going to be a, a multi-purpose machine like that uh, so I'm looking forward to doing that this year um, so stick around and see what's going to happen with that if you so choose and again thanks for uh, thanks for holding out and not unsus unsubscribing over winter so we're nearly here now I'm going to turn the uh, the camera off for a bit and keep some of the juice in the battery for uh, for when I get in I think